I'm gonna show you the best pixel deter combos in After Effects using the Retro Deter plugin. I'm gonna create a new composition, rename it Pixel, and I'm gonna go with Social Media Landscape HD, 30 frames per second, 10 second black background, click OK. And then drag and drop your video right here. Right click on the video, pre comp, rename it Subject, select Move All Attributes into the new comp, click OK. And let's go to Effects and Presets, and I'm gonna search for the Retro Deter plugin. Drag and drop the retro deter on the subject layer. And the default is gonna be this really cool threshold effect. And here you can go to the threshold and increase or decrease to highlight more details. And here at the downscale, you can increase the pixelation. And this is the basic threshold pixel effect. Now let's go and switch this up. I'm gonna go to the downscale, change it to 3x. And dithering, I'm gonna go with Bayer 2x2. And now I got this pattern dithering effect. Now let's change it up. Let's go with Floyd Steinberg. And now you got the classic dithering effect. I'm also gonna decrease the downscale to 2x. And now it looks perfect. Now you also can remove these elements right here by going and changing the Floyd to Sierra maybe. And it's gonna reduce it, but it's going to change up the pixelation for sure. Now as you can see, Sierra 2 lines is going to clean it up even more. And then you also got here the serpentine scan. I'm gonna check it. Now let's go and change up the palette. And I'm gonna go down to the CGA mode 4, and I'm gonna go to the dithering, and I'm gonna change it to Bayer 4x4. And now we got some better results. I'm also gonna go to the threshold and decrease it a little bit more. And this looks way better. Let's go back to the palette, and I'm gonna change it to high P1. And check this out, now we got way more colorful pixelation. And I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna try it out with high P2. So these are the best color combos. You also can go to the effects and presets, type in hue, drag and drop hue saturation under the retro dither, and you can go here to the wheel and rotate, and this way you can get like different color combos. But right now I'm gonna go and remove the hue saturation. Let's go to the CGA mode 5 high, and check this out. I'm gonna go and adjust the threshold, and I'm gonna test another one. I'm gonna go to palette, select the teletext, and check out these colors. And I'm gonna go to dithering, and I'm gonna select the Sierra 2 lines. All right, so I'm also gonna increase the downscale to 3x to make it look more pixelated, and now you got like an RGB dithering effect. You also can go to Serpentine Scan, check it and uncheck it, so this way you can select which one you like most. And these are the best dither effects in the Retro Dither plugin. Thanks for watching.